We've got that live look outside Jacksonville Freedom Fountain for us this afternoon. Just like yesterday, a thick layer of clouds holding pretty tight. And we've seen a little bit of mist and drizzle at times for us this morning. As far as uh, the cloud cover is concerned, we can see we do have that low pressure exiting off of the northern outer bank. Still kind of seeing that counterclockwise circulation here, locking in that cloud cover basically south of Highway 264. North of that, though, actually starting to see some breaks in the overcast. Williamson, Windsor, even Greenville thinning out the cloud cover from time to time. As that low pressure moves away, it's still kicking off a few light spotty showers, especially across Hyde County here. Those could drift down, especially towards Ocracoke, down East Carteret County, uh, Eastern Beaufort County, and even Pamlico County. Good soaking rainfall. Look at the numbers here over the last 24 hours. Yeah, two and a half inches of rainfall coming in there in Keenansville, an inch and a half in Swansboro, inch in Beaufort. That has pretty much leveled the inland spots to average for this time of uh, the month for us here. And this is just July itself. Now still running a little bit below by about a third, uh, two thirds of an inch in Beaufort. But at least we finally got some rainfall along the coastal areas here where that sunshine is out. Look at Greenville 79 to 83 coming into Windsor 82 in Eaton still though locked in in Jacksonville at 74 underneath the cloud cover for the north. You are the warmer those temperatures are potentially going to be again a few spotty showers or thunder showers right along the coast. Not going to be that big of a deal for us today and we'll hold those temperatures into the 70s overnight tonight. Another little band of some light showers could possibly work their way through the area. Now as we come underneath that cloud cover here again, the closer to the coast you are, the longer it's going to take for these clouds to break up as we see some of those spotty showers work their way across the area late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But by this time tomorrow, that drier air is going to start to sweep in. We'll see that sunshine return for us in the afternoon. Temperatures jump in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow, and then that sets us up for basically a run of summer like weather coming our way as we do progress on through Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Slim chance of a typical sea breeze shower, thunder shower possible for us here. Probably less likely on Thursday or Friday, more so on Saturday, but still no washout days for us here going forward with just a few clouds bubbling up there from time to time. Temperature wise, you'll notice, like I said, more typical summertime weather for us here. At least though Thursday and Friday, we cut the humidity a little bit as dew points drop into the 50s, and then we're right back into the uh, heat and humidity is going through the weekend into the early part of next week.